Hi guys, oh, welcome to another video. So today's video, we will be trying out some Fashion Fair products. Yep, Fashion Fair products. They relaunched, came out with, I'm not going to say new products because these products, they used to carry a long time ago and then they came back out with them. So yeah, so we're just going to be putting it to the test today. So if you want to see how I got this look and all that good stuff, make sure you keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Hi guys. Welcome to another video. So today's video, I am excited. I don't think I have been this excited about makeup in a very long time. So I received my order. Um, no other than Fashion Fair. I purchased this the day that it launched on Fashion Fair's website. I was on Sephora website, but they were playing because every time I would put it in my cart, it would say out of stock, out of stock. I was like, I don't got time for that. So I went to their website, no problem. So I ordered it Thursday night and I received it Tuesday. So the shipping was fast. Let's go. First thing I got was the Fabulous Priming Serum. It looks like this. And it was $37. How many ounces is this? One fluid ounce. And it says that it fades dark spots. And it has supposed to have a peach tint hue to it. Um, it plumps skin. It has hyaluronic acid in it. And it all, it's also a skin brightening. So let's see. Y'all know I'm used to... And it has a little... Pump too. So let's see y'all. Y'all know I'm used to my drugstore primer. Oh yeah. Not too much now. Okay. So as you can see, I don't know if you can really tell the camera, but it is peach. Mm -hmm. So, and it's kind of like, it feels like a moisturizer. I was so excited when this uh, product came back out. I was like, oh my goodness. I had an aunt and my aunt used to wear this foundation and makeup from Fashion Fair all the time. And I used to play in her makeup all the time. It's like when we went to the department store, she would go there and get her makeup. Like she was brown skin like me, maybe um, a little bit darker. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Even with makeup, without makeup. Uh, Fashion Fair always had these ads in the magazine. And these women were brown and they were beautiful. Okay, I don't feel like anything is on my skin or anything. I mean, so right here. Okay. Primer done. Feels good though. I don't feel greasy. My skin doesn't feel tight either. So, so far, so good. They didn't have concealers. <clears throat> I color matched on Sephora's website, although I ordered from Fashion Fair's website. And I picked up the Cream to Powder Skin Foundation. It looks like this. This comes in 14 shades. It's a medium buildable coverage. Um, vitamin C. It has vitamin C, turmeric. Um, it helps with uneven skin tones. Helps against hyperpigmentation. It helps against hyperpigmentation. Um, and this says it's for normal to all these skin. So, yeah, y'all know I'm combo. So, it looks like this. I thought this was so sleek. You know, it's white, but. So, it has a mirror, of course. And this is the product. And it comes with a little sponge. I tell you, I might be giving away my age, but if you remember companies with this little sponge they <laughs> you know then you know because ooh. okay so this is how it looks and okay this one like, 
So it's blending in. Let's see, y'all. So I got my MAC 170 brush. And this is usually what I use even when I'm using my MAC um, cream and powder foundation. So let's do one side of the face. How does it say to use it? Prep skin with primer. Apply cream to powder skin with foundation, brush. Apply cream to powder skin with a foundation brush, sponge, or fingertips. Build coverage as desired. So let's see. I'm just no smell. I'm gonna just pat it on it all. I felt like this gave me a very skin-like application. I did have two dark marks on my chin. It covered it up from the little bit that I used. I don't feel greasy. Not right now. It just looks like my skin, but better. Since I didn't have any concealer, I'ma use my Anastasia Beverly Hills in number 17 to highlight. So I purchased the loose powder in the shade Safari. Not listening. I got, it looks like this. And it is, let's see y'all. It comes in six shades and it's $34. And it blocks oil and it's supposed to give you a soft focused filtered look. I think this would be too dark for me to highlight with. So I might have to use this for our all over um, powder. I have another order coming from Sephora with the correct um, highlighting shade for me. So real good that a try when it comes. It took me forever to get in there. Okay, I just want to show y'all how it looks so y'all can get an idea. And this is the shade Safari. So, of course, I couldn't highlight with this one, but I could use it for all over powder. So, as you can see, it's got pigment to it. So, we'll save this one for another day. Now, I'll set with my Sasha Buttercup today. Okay, so I did my contour, did my under eye highlight and all that good stuff. The next thing I purchased was the Iconic Pressed Powder, and I have the shade Bold Bronze. 12 shades. It is $34. Provides makeup for a longer wear, smooth and softens the appearance of skin. So, yeah. So, it looks like this. Everything is white. It's going to be dirty, though. And it comes with the mirror, and this is the powder. You can wear this alone with concealer over your foundation. It's a full coverage powder. So I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild brush.
the very last thing I picked up was one of the lipsticks and it looks like this and it's in the shade Olay Orange and I probably won't use it today there's nothing I have is orange but I just wanted to show y'all like their lipsticks looks really really popular too and I thought this would be a beautiful fall color And I'll swatch it for you all. And it's a satin lipstick. Isn't that beautiful? $26. And it comes, they have 14 shades. Oh, it's a magnet. They have 26 shades so far. Okay guys, so I am back and this is the completed look. I always have to get up. So you guys can see. I mean, it looks good to me. <laughs> so, yeah. So what time is it? It is 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to wear this for as long as I can wear it and I will come back and let you all know how it held up. To me, my face doesn't, it doesn't feel tight, it doesn't feel drying, it doesn't feel shiny. We're starting off to a good point already. I'm already going to tell y'all, if you're my skin tone, if you're a woman of color, go pick this up. I'm just going to tell you, you won't have problems shade matching or getting the color right i'm gonna tell you now but i'm gonna come back so y'all can see how oily i am because i'm going to get oily i'm oily skin so i'm going to get oily but i will come back and update you guys so talk to you in a minute okay hi guys so i am back it is 5 25 So this is how my face is looking after 10 and a half hours. The lights are making me way shinier than what I am. So I got my brush from this morning. No more product or anything. I did not blot or anything. Well, they, I think it held up a really, really nice. The color is perfect so if you're my shade chestnut what is it fine chestnut it's the color i have the stick coming from sephora the stick foundation so we can try that one and see how that one does but i love this one Mm -mm. I love this one. My face is back how it should be. I like it. I, it's not full, full coverage. It's going to give you a medium, a high medium coverage. It's not going to give you a full coverage because I can still see some of my imperfections, which is fine with me. If that's okay with you, then you're good. So, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And, of course, I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.